hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so today I do have a PR package from Madam Glam. They reached out and I went ahead and chose four of their new gel polishes. If you haven't already heard, they did have a jackpot collection for the month of February where they did release eight new holographic gels and I will be swatching and using four of the new colors in today's video. So I would just went ahead and showed an overlook of the box. I love the way the box is black with that gold lettering. It is very sleek and minimalistic. But let's get into this box. So this box does have like that pink cushioning. So the gel polishes do fine in shipment. And then here are the four gel polishes. I did choose four colors. There are eight colors in this collection, but they did only send me four, so I will be just showing these four gel polishes. I want to start with the bottles. These are 15 ml bottles, and I just absolutely love that they show the color on the top and the color around the label. The way I organize all of my gel polishes, I do like the color swatch on the top. These are vegan, cruelty free, 21 free formula, palm oil free, and hema free as well. And I just really love these bottles. They are 15 ml, so they are a very nice size. And then the name sticker is also on the bottom of each bottle. That first one was a pink and that was eternal. This one is purple and it is lovesick. A very gorgeous blue color here and it is not your be not your boo I think that is such a cute name and then we have hollow lover which is a mix of like kind of like a nude color I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these gel polishes the consistency of these are very great like I just love the quality of Madame Glam gel polishes they are very up there on my list of favorite gel polishes and I just absolutely love them. I love the bottles of Madame Glam gel polishes and that they're vegan, cruelty free, 21 free formula. I just love that when brands take initiative to have their products be healthy for the environment. And I also just love the fun gel polishes that Madame Glam creates, such as these ones, the holographic gel polishes. I really don't like using like hollow pigments or anything like that just because they're so messy but with these gels you do not need any chrome powders or holographic pigments because these are literally so beautiful and I totally recommend these to anyone. I am so bummed that I only did get to try out four of the colors since there are eight in this collection just because I was so in love with these gel polishes. When I was first opening up the bottles of these to swatch them, I was just so amazed with the saturation, how like pigmented they were, and honestly, I wish I would have swatched them on the top of the swatch sticks, just because I feel like swatching them on the bottom did, didn't help show how pigmented these gels were and also just the great quality of them. Also, the camera, it doesn't do justice at all. I tried to get a good like lighting on these so that you could see how beautiful and shiny they were, but I just really could not. But just like look at them. Like I tried moving them in the light so you could see like the rainbow. Do you see that? Like these were so beautiful. Probably one of my favorite gel polishes at the moment just because of how obsessed I am with these. I truly just love them and I would love to try the other four colors. So I'm just quickly going to show. Here is Hollow Lover. It is a very nice nude shade. A glittery nude of course. A, this one's Not Your Boo and it is a very gorgeous blue. We have Lovesick and this one is a purple color super pretty and then we have eternal which is a pink color now we're gonna move right into this nail set i went ahead sized out my full cover 3xl square nail tips from aliexpress i also grabbed a nude poly gel i'm going to be using the a siesta from mccart 
At first, when I was choosing these colors of gel polishes, I did pick out Hollow Lover because I was going to be using that as my nude. But when I did try a practice nail for this nail set, I was not loving all of the glitter and hollow. I just felt like it took away from what I had in mind. Honestly, to tell you right now, the nail set I ended up doing is not what I had in mind at all when choosing these colors from the eight colors. I just, I did not have this nail set in mind. It honestly took me a very long time to come up with a nail set to do in this video. I was super bummed because of how gorgeous the gel polishes were and I just could not think of a nail set. But in the end, I I did love the nail set that I created, but honestly, I love the gel polishes more. But when I was picking this, I I did choose that Hollow Lover, which is that nude to use as the nude, but I swayed away from that nail set and I decided I wanted to do something else. And since I wanted to do something else, I really wish that I would have chosen a different color instead of that hollow lover because that one was a nude and I didn't end up using that in today's nail set because it was a nude and I already had all of the nails nude. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying but one color that I do know that is from this jackpot collection by Madame Glam is named The Wish and I've been seeing people swatch it and use it and I'm in love with it. It is like a very pretty teal color and if you know me, my favorite color is like a teal aqua blue. I just love those shades and honestly, I really wish I would have swapped out that Hollow Lover for the Wish color just because... I didn't even end up using Hollow Lover and I was so bummed because these polishes were so gorgeous, like truly they were. And I recommend them to anyone, so I will have them linked down below and my discount code as well. So now back to the nail set here, I kind of just got swayed away in talking, but that's okay because I am just simply doing the lazy girl method and nothing spectacular, I'm just using this nude as my nail bed color because as you saw by the thumbnail I am creating some more French tips. I just love French tips so much and yeah you're gonna see French tips a lot on my channel just because they're super easy and super fun and there's so many possibilities with French tips. So I'm just using this nude color as my nail bed color and honestly I could have just put it at the like cuticle area of the nail and that's how I adhere them to my nails but obviously me I did it the hard way because I was just stressing out thinking what nail sets should I do but it's all right I like doing it this way that way the nails are a little bit stronger but I am just taking this Asiesta poly gel and using my brush and slip solution and molding the poly gel. I am doing the lazy girl slash femi beauty method and I do have many more videos on my channel that go further in depth with this method. But really it's super easy just like the dual form method but instead of popping off the dual form you just keep on the full cover nail tip and that acts as a like it strengthens up your nails to help your apex and just give strength to the nails. After I have all of the nail, the poly gel molded, I went ahead, I applied my peel off base coat. For my peel off base coat, I use cuticle oil, I rub that in, I apply my top coat and cure for 30 seconds and then the nails are ready to be applied. I start by just popping the nails off of their nail stands and gently pressing them onto my natural nails. Super easy, I clean up anything, any poly gel that squeezed out from around the cuticle area and then I just do a quick flash cure with my flashy light and I continue the process of that and then once I have all of the nails on, I do do a full cure in my big lamp for 60 seconds on top and 60 seconds underneath. When I first started this method, I would put one nail on and then cure, one nail on and then cure, but I realized that that takes up a lot of time and it also, your hand is constantly in and out of that LED UV nail lamp. So I found it more convenient to just do a quick flash cure and then do one full cure once I have all of the nails on. 
So after I had all of the nails cured on, as you can tell, I already had my thumbnail done and I also already went in and wiped off the sticky layer. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I was having troubles choosing a nail set and I honestly just had to think off camera and do my thumb off camera just to get some inspiration and to think of what I really wanted to do for this nail set be before beginning it on camera. So I'm now going ahead and taking my hand file and I'm just filing around the cuticle area, crisping up the shape, and filing the free edge just to remove that little piece of plastic if there is any more residue from that. You can go in with an e-file, but honestly, I find it a lot easier just to go around my cuticle and the free edge with the hand file. And again, you do not pop off the full cover nail tip, so that acts as your shape and honestly there's no filing this is really optional to do i like to do it just to make the nails look a little bit more natural and not have them look like press on so much and then this is optional as well but i do like to go in with a buffing block and buff the tops of the nails I like to buff just to remove any excess poly gel and also just buff the surface of the nail if I know I'm going in with nail art. I mean, even if you were just going in with top coat, I feel like it would be good to buff the surface. That way your top coat doesn't like flake off or anything like that. After I'm all finished buffing and filing, I took my dust brush and removed all of that dust. And now I'm going to be going in with my nail art. So basically, as you saw my thumb, I'm doing some French tips, and then I'm also going to be doing some like four point stars, some little dots to fill in space, and then I'm also going to be doing hearts. So on this nail, I'm using the purple, I forget the name, uh, Lovesick? I think, yeah, I think that's what the name of this one is. I think it's Lovesick. But I'm going to be using this one instead of the pink, Eternal, and I'm going to be using the purple to create the French tip. I use the line brush to create my smile line, and then I'm just going in with the gel polish brush to fill in the French tip. And then I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to be using the blue gel polish, which is not your boo. And I'm going to be creating some hearts and some just dots to fill in the space. And honestly, this is the only nail that I did like this. And I wish, in the end, I wish I wouldn't have done this nail. But at first, I was thinking I could just alternate, like, the four-point stars and the hearts. But then I decided on my ring finger I wanted to do bling. You'll see in a couple moments, but I felt like this nail was, like, lonely. And I should have just done pink French tips with the four point stars and then use the purple for the bling nail but it's okay I really loved how the nail set turned out and I feel like the only reason I loved this nail set was because of how much I loved these gel polishes but I don't know maybe it's just because I really love the nail set but that is how that nail turned out and now on my middle finger i'm just going to be doing the same thing as the thumb i'm using the pink to create my french tip and then i'm going to be using the blue to create those four point stars and the little dots to fill in space
just wanted to say thank you if you guys still are here and watching. If you are enjoying, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you are notified when I do upload a video. I really love creating nails, so I am constantly uploading nail videos and I hope that you guys are enjoying them. And thank you to the ones who are commenting and supporting me on my channel and just helping me grow. This was a very simple nail set. I only showed those two nails and did my thumb and pinky off camera. But now we're going to be doing the bling nail on my ring finger, which was also very simple. I'm just going to cover the full nail in this purple gel polish. I really love this nail. Like, these nails are just so pretty. They're just so pretty because I love how shiny the gel polishes are. But I went ahead, did this a full cover nail, and these are also so pigmented where I only needed to go in with one coat. Even though these are so shiny, they are very full coverage and just gorgeous nails. I cured that for 30 seconds, and now I'm going to be applying some bling. I was going to use the Madam Glam top coat to apply the bling, but because I don't have the no wipe Madam Glam top coat, I decided that it would be easier to just go in with another no wipe top coat that I had. I really want to try the Madam Glam no wipe top coat. I do just have their regular top coat, but with their regular top coat, you do have to wipe off the sticky layer once you cure and i really don't like doing that i love no wipe top coats because i feel like when you wipe off the sticky layer from a top coat it makes it not as shiny and it's also just an extra step like when i apply my top coat i just want to be done with the nail set and have it be I'm done, I apply my cuticle oil and that's it. Not have to go in with that little extra step of wiping off the sticky layer. And I've also heard so many good things about the Madam Glam No Wipe Top Coat, so I'm hoping in the future I do get to try that as well. But as you can see here, I'm just going in with my bling. I went ahead and laid this out because I really didn't know what to do. I adhered it on, I cured, and that was it. Like super easy now i'm gonna go in with that top the madam glam top coat on the rest of the nails the reason i didn't use it on the bling nail just because i thought it would be a little bit hard to make sure there wasn't no tacky layer but on these nails it was totally fine and i do love the madam glam top coat it is a very great consistency it's not too thin it's not too thick it's the perfect like consistency and it's great for nail art too because you know like nail art like kind of like puffs up your nail but when adding this it really just helps a lot the only thing i don't like about it is it it is very shiny but since i have to go in and wipe off the sticky layer i feel like it does take some of that shine away but I just went ahead, wiped that off quickly, and then we're going to go ahead and apply the cuticle oil. I don't know, watching back now, I don't know why I didn't use my Madam Glam cuticle oil. I really do love my Madam Glam cuticle oil. I feel like that's why I never use it, just because it's so good and I want to save it, but I don't know why I'm like that. Comment below if you're like that as well. <laughs> I just, when I love something, I feel like I shouldn't use it and I should save it, but then like, what's the point of loving it then? You know, it's just, yeah. Anyways, here is the final nail set. I really loved it. I really love the gel polishes. Thank you again to Madam Glam for sending me these gel polishes. They are absolutely gorgeous, and I am just so in love with the holographic and glitter in them. I just loved staring at my nails, and honestly, I am still wearing these nails right now just because I love them so much. You know me, I normally pop them off, but I am still wearing them because I just love these nails so much, especially that bling nail. Like, look at that bling with the purple holographic background. Is it just not gorgeous? Comment below if you love this nail set, and I also, if you are interested in purchasing any of these products, I will have them linked down below along with my discount code, and I'll also have all of the other products that I used. I did one did want to show one last time how gorgeous these are. I just couldn't get over them, so I wanted to show them again because they are just so beautiful and I love them. 
and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching me create these nails and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time